The Obsidian Silver Surfer is filling the nerdery with cosmic energy. Let's discuss 10 interesting things about the Silver Surfer, including the figure's comic book history, while answering the question, is the Obsidian Silver Surfer worthy? Norrin Rad first appeared in the Fantastic Four number 48 in March of 1966. He was created by the legendary Jack Kirby. Born on the planet Zenla, he agreed to be the Herald of Galactus to save his people. Galactus imbued him with the power cosmic and gave him his surfboard. This figure and box art comes from the Thanos comic in 2018. Have you guys noticed that the quality of the plastic lining in the box has improved? It feels more firm and the boxes have been arriving in much better condition. And dude, I love the comic book art on the back with this description. Oh wow, what do you think? Doesn't he look sweet in front of that cosmic background bathed in the purple LED light? For me, this is a perfect Silver Surfer head sculpt. I love the stoic expression, and the sheen on his eyes is really, really cool too. What do you think of that? This figure articulates very well. Head goes all the way down and up with some nice side tilt. Butterfly shoulder joint, double pin elbow greater than 90 degrees and can touch his face. You have a cut and a swivel, thigh swivel, double pin knee joint, boot cut, and then a nice flat foot. The Obsidian Surfer is six foot four. Look how well he scales with the other Cosmic Marvel figures. He has superhuman strength, durability, and senses. He can also absorb and manipulate the universe's ambient energy. Man, I love how he looks next to Cosmic Ghost Rider Janice Bell. Check him out with Beta Ray Bell. How cool are they together? Is the Obsidian Surfer worthy? In addition to Thor and Odin, there have been other notable heroes such as Beta Ray Bill, Captain America, Black Panther, Loki, and recently Jane Foster to be worthy of wielding Mjolnir. He comes from a future Marvel Universe where he is the last person to wield Mjolnir. Then he becomes one of the most powerful cosmic entities of all time and then takes on the moniker The Fallen One. I really appreciate the worthy inscription on the hammer. It has a nice sheen under the lights, and then the brown leather wrap and strap looks sweet in contrast to the silver on the hammer. This version of the Silver Surfer first appeared in Thanos Volume 2, Number 15 in January of 2018. I can't recommend reading this book enough. It's a great arc for Thanos and an epic battle with the Silver Surfer. The surfboard was created by Galactus and made of unknown materials. The board matches the silver's liquid metallic skin. It is impervious to almost all forms of physical damage. Even though this is a flying figure with a flying surfboard, they did not include a stand with it. Yes, I can plug it right into this real nice Hasbro stand over here, but that Hasbro stand has a large footprint. This could have been really easy just to have something small and plastic that's clear coming up underneath it so you could stand it up wherever you want in a display and just have him riding tilted like that. I think that could have been a real neat touch to further enhance the displayability of this figure. What do you guys think? He wields the power cosmic with two purple effects. Doesn't it look sweet lit up with Mjolnir in the other hand? Hey Hasbro, I have an idea for you on how you could have made this figure even cooler. How about giving us a cosmically powered Mjolnir? with the hand and hammer emanating with the purple power cosmic. Let me know what all of you think about that idea in the comments. Is the Obsidian Silver Surfer worthy? Most definitely, it's an easy answer. The Obsidian Sheen on the figure combined with Mjolnir and the power cosmic effect will herald a whole new level of coolness to the display. Ultimately, the most important part of his worthiness is how expertly cool he looks in the display. I debated between putting him on the X-Men or Spidey shelf as he could go anywhere. For now, I slotted him next to the Cosmic Ghost Rider, Janice Vell, and my other new favorite figure, Beta Ray Bill, on the Spidey shelf, and now I have this really cool Cosmic Corner. Please let me know how you posed your Silver Surfer and if you think he is worthy. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.